Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. There are occasions when the widescreen LED TV in your home or office makes it look like you're still living in the early 2010s. When technology progresses at such a quick pace where discoveries and gadgets are turned out monthly, it is essential to stay updated. This year has been good for the consumer electronics market so far, and it looks like the perfect time to get a projector. But getting a projector on a low budget is always a difficult task for customers. Projectors come costly these days, so we're going to show you the best in every category. And check out the description below for more information and the latest pricing. The Apeman NM4 Mini Projector comes equipped in a stylish little box containing the device, an HDMI cable, a tiny tripod, and an AC charger with a USB charging cable. It looks great and is relatively small, and can comfortably fit in your hand. It measures 3.86x3.86x0.87 by by inches and weighs just 1.2 pounds. The mini projector has 120 minutes of battery life courtesy of a 3400 milliamp battery. It's able to project a screen size up to 100 inches on a wall. The 854 by 480 resolution isn't quite full HD quality, but video playback still looks great. The incorporation of the dual speakers adds to the audio visual mix, while noticeably low fan noise provides full immersion in whatever is on the screen. The 25,000 hours of LED life provides for 1,000 days of 24 hour video playback before the bulb will burn out. The HDMI cable and MHL support gives the Ape Man the ability to connect directly to laptops, smartphones, or tablets for simple plug and play use. As a mini projector that's light on power, the Ape Man M4 benefits from a dark setting and an ideal flat, white surface to project the picture on. With only 50 ANSI lumens, the area should be as dark as possible for the most accurate picture, though even a dimly lit room with curtains drawn will give you a decent enough picture, thanks to the DLP image technology and 1000 to 1 color contrast. Sure, it's pricey. But the Optima ML750 ST is well worth the steep price tag. This business ready projector can produce lumen brightness up to 700 and has a WXGA 1280 by 800 native resolution for displaying detailed images. And the 20,000 to 1 contrast ratio showcases the projector's ability to handle light and dark on screen content. Its DLP chip system and LED lamp feature long life of up to 20,000 hours. And it can be used to display images up to 200 inches with its 0.8 by 1 short throw ratio. Plus, it offers various connectivity options including HDMI, universal input output for VGA, USB, and micro SDHC card slot that supports up to 32 gigabytes. The ML750 ST's short throw ratio of 0.8 to 1 also gives it awesome image quality. While many projectors require a 1.2 to 1 or a 1.5 to 1 ratio to project a large picture, the ML750 ST can sit rather close to the image. It has off the mill connectivity choices including an HDMI port, a USB port, a 3.5mm audio output, and a micro SD slot. Its combined document reader gives it an excellent pick for business applications as well. You can project PDFs, docs, and more from the USB thumb drive, so you won't need to hook it up to a laptop. When it comes to the miniature design factor, projectors don't get much tinier than the AAXA P7. This small device measures 4.7 by 4.4 by 2.7 inches and weighs less than 1.5 pounds, so if you want a projector that can comfortably fit in your bag without weighing you down, then this one might be for you. This projector can project images up to 120 inches diagonal and features a 1080p 1920x1080 native resolution. It can provide up to 600 lumens of brightness on AC power with a 2000 to 1 dynamic contrast ratio in order to help enhance detail and clarity, and it has up to 450 lumens while running off of the optional battery. It can sport an HDMI, mini VGA, a 1 8 composite video input, and a micro SD slot as well as a USB port with an integrated media player to play back your digitally stored images, videos, and music. The included tripod lets you elevate the projector from your table or desktop and helps you achieve a squared off image with manual keystroke correction. The P7 has a collection of different inputs to support all kinds of devices. These include HDMI, USB, mini VGA, composite AV, and a TF card port. There are built-in 2 watt speakers, but it's worth connecting a separate Bluetooth speaker for more solid audio. 
This cheap portable projector is an excellent option for those who need a versatile budget device that can play all sorts of media. Unlike many pricier models, the Vankyo 3 does not have a Wi-Fi connection. Rather, it relies on HDMI and USB connections to present your content. Its simple plug and play setup makes it straightforward to attach to a streaming stick, cable box, gaming console, or even a flash drive. You can also connect your smartphone utilizing an HDMI adapter cable. With 60% brightness, 170 inch large screen, and high sound quality, the Leisure 3 projector gives an excellent viewing experience for home theater and parties. It has an advanced built in hi fi level speaker, presenting excellent and loud sound quality in different scenes. Also, you can connect an external speaker to get more dependable sound quality. With enhanced brightness and 1920 by 1080 resolution, your media is bright and sharp. But one of the most appealing features of a mini projector is its portability, and the Vankyo is created with this in mind. Weighing less than 3 pounds, this projector is lighter than most laptops and even comes with its own carrying case for increased safety. More than an all-in-one miniature form factor projector, the Anchor Nebula Capsule 2 is a grab-and-go entertainment setup with speakers and all. Whereas the first generation prototype introduced a built-in 5 watt speaker that for all purposes and objectives was moderately loud for the price, the Capsule 2 steps this up this time. Now you can anticipate an 8 watt built-in speaker for even more power in the sound, but that's not all. The company has also improved the resolution to 1280 by 720 placing it firmly in the HD realm. This is an increase from 854 by 480 resolution of the prior generation Anchor Nebula Capsule, which admittedly is still a big bang for your buck. But then again, with the Anchor Nebula Capsule 2, you'll get a much clearer image in a more compact unit. Anchor has also stepped up the illumination to 200 ANSI lumens, indicating that you won't need to sit in the dark to experience the views. With Chromecast capability, you can cast your most beloved apps from your Android or iOS device, Mac or Windows computer. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, then hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you loved it. Take a moment to hit the bell icon so you'll get notified of all our new latest uploads.